Welcome to Fireteam Chat, IGN's, IGN's Destiny, Destiny Show. Show. Thank you so, so much for joining nice. us, everybody. Joining me today is Fran Mirabella. What's up, everybody? <laughs> CJ Gibson. What's up? Steven Rue. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm your host, Destin Gary. On today's show, we thought that we would talk about the current season of Destiny and the current state of the game and kind of go over what we think of everything. Ranking things, reviewing things, talking about the different sections of the game that we all enjoy. Uh, to start off, we're going to talk about Gambit, Gambit Prime, PvP, Strikes, Raids, Blind Well, Escalation, <laughs> Protocol, Menagerie, Reckoning, and that's it. But what we're going to do is because all those activities are in sort of different places in the game right now, we're going to talk about um, uh, what we like and we're going to rank them, I think. So right now, mm. what is your favorite activity that you can do in Destiny? That's not a raid. We'll exclude the raid from that conversation because oh, I think, right. I I think the raid's the, the answer. That's an easy one, right? That's Obviously. Fair. I was going to yell raid, but yeah. <laughs> so much for that. Strikes, right, strikes are at the top of my list. Well, heard, strikes are the best right now, trials. friends? <laughs> they are the top of my list for overall activities to do, yeah. Really? Yeah. Less so, so it, about state of the game and more mm -hmm. like I just love strikes. Yeah. And I want more strikes. And so, you know, there's always some strikes that you may not love as many as others, but that's one activity I can always hop into. It's match made. So. What, Wait, what strikes, strikes do you bail favorite? on immediately? Yeah. Friend. Oh, uh, I don't bail on them as much anymore since they tune stuff <laughs> up. But that one in Curse of Osiris was terrible for a while. And so Exodus Crash, everybody, <laughs> yes, right? Exodus Crash. How yeah. many people bail on Exodus Crash? A hey, substantial oh, number man. of people. Is there a wife I'll raise my there? hand also. Ouch. And then, uh, Stephen, what's that one that I hate from Curse of Osiris? Which one? <laughs> Not Garden World, the other one. Tree of Probabilities? Tree of Probabilities. Oh, probabilities. Yeah, yeah, Tree of Probabilities. Because you got to go through all the permutations of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the bridges forest. just keep appearing. Yeah, yeah. But besides that, they're all great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Besides those two. Would you, would, do you ever bail on a strike friend? Or do no, you just, you just I, that's bad, man. So I'm going to report you now that I know that you oh, do that. Oh, there you so. go. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's recorded. It's so easy to just go into your menu and not play a strike anymore. So easy to report player. It's like the third <laughs> yeah. one down. So. Fair. What about you, Steve? What's your favorite activity? Say so Siege or Steve? Siege. That, I, I heard Siege. echoey on this yeah, side. Sure. So. Um, you know, still a PvP guy at the core. I heard a couple people mentioning, uh, yeah, uh, they said the T word. We won't actually say the word out loud. It's not back in the game yet. Uh, but still digging PvP, yeah, and I like uh, a lot of these chases. There's a lot of snipers now in the meta with uh, Searcher. That's been crazy to yeah, see, man. Broker. Yeah, but it's good. So the pinnacle, like, rewards bringing people sniping back, and I'm digging it. It was a beloved activity from the past, which we... Really like affectionately, now. yeah. There you go. I was, I, I didn't want to say it, friend. It brings up a little, a little pain. So you know, we're just yes. gonna call it the T word. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still, I'm still digging PVP. PVP always uh, to the core. But Destiny's got a lot of activities that I really enjoy mm -hmm. right now. Just in general, menagerie and matchmaking is really good. But yeah, so, you're Mr. PVP. Always. I could have guessed what was at the top. Of Naturally. Anyway, so yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. What's your uh, favorite game mode in PVP right now, and your least favorite? What, what needs a, a little bit of workbench Ooh. love? I mean. Countdown is just, I think, overall what Destiny is. In my mind, it's always just been that. Even though Team Deathmatch, like the Slayer Wait, mode. You said Countdown. Oh, sorry. I said yeah. Countdown. Oh my gosh. Control. I was, I was gonna say, I yeah. thought you were going to yeah. say. Thank you so much, Steven. Yeah. We were Holy all cow. very quiet. Like, no. we were like, yeah. I, I looked countdown around and I was like, did, I, did I say something incorrect? <laughs> control. <laughs> um, control. Countdown is the one that I feel, yeah, we were talking about this a little bit. It just, it, it doesn't seem to play well because of the amount of supers that you have, the grenades, there's too much abilities. Just taking that point is nothing but death. I just want to kill people and let them die permanently. <laughs> um, so yes, Countdown needs some work, love control. Steven, how about you? Countdown's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, probably the Menagerie right now. Yeah. 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 The correct answer from Steven Rue. Yeah. No, oh, there's only one correct yeah, answer. Yeah, you, you got it right. You won, Steven. Congratulations. Yeah. We, let, we, let, we brought My Steven back to say that. My opinion is fact. Yeah. 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 Um, Menagerie's the most fun, and then PvP's fun except Lord of Wolves. So how do you feel about <laughs> how do you feel about uh, Menagerie? Right now, you can sort of farm that final chest, just slot new runes. You can probably get. Teddy says you can get like nine drops. I think that's been the max. We have, until the, we have until the ninth, right? Yeah, until the ninth. Yep. So Monday, okay. I got to get my last three runs in to get the yeah. 200 done. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, how, do you think it's going to have the same appeal after that's gone? Uh, no, it won't. Yeah. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. Like right now, you can get like, what, six to nine items? Depending yeah, on which six one. Six fairly yeah. easy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a fun activity, but... We're all there for the loot, right? So, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's going to lose its value after the ninth. 
Yeah, if we could pause it. I thought that was a, a great discussion I've been having with a lot of people at Guardian menagerie, about yeah, menagerie sure. and like how much loot you get, but comparing it to stuff. And so a couple of things. One, yeah, Strikes was at the top of my list, and then PvP, then menagerie. I mean, I love them all for their own reasons. But anyway, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on, we really started to talk about and think about it, even after you nerf the chess in menagerie and bring it down to one per run. So you're doing whatever. It's like 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, yeah, of normal. 10 mode. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but compare that with even like, okay, I know, speed run every time, perfect team, perfect matchmaking. <laughs> That's so, how I roll. Efficiency, yeah. destiny. And every blueberry is just amazing every time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, sometimes they are. Tell us how you really feel, friend. But anyway, I would love to hear you guys' perspective on this. You go do nightfall runs and you're, yeah, hey, you can get guaranteed a weapon with, you know, some percent chance. But you don't get a weapon every time. From nightfalls? So, in other words, where else, even after you nerf the chest, can you get this quality of weapon with a curate like you pointed towards roles Raise. you want well uh, even then it takes a long time right and it takes well, a lot you yeah, can't you have to match you drop per encounter but you yeah, are right yeah. but in other words think of the variety of what you can get out of the event even after the nerf so i'm not saying i don't want because here i am back again oh you chill um <laughs> yeah. so i i want what you guys want which it's been amazing and these mm -hmm. guns for all we know in shadow keep will yeah. be like maybe not as relevant so let's enjoy the buffet while it lasts. I know, I know what you're getting at. The, the question that I have is I'm wondering, I think they're going to address this, first of all, with Menagerie. And I hope that they figure out a way to allow us to get these drops. And we're chasing these coveted roles right now. But the whole thing's getting changed in September anyway. Yeah. So we have to remember that the perk system is going to be different from what we currently know. So while, yes, this is going to be great for like two months, in two months, yeah. it's all going to be different. Yeah, like, do you think your Ostringer is still going to be relevant then? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do, too. It has to it, be. Beyond PvP yeah. as well, do you well, believe that? Yeah, but I mean, I think there's just something there's about that There's these other modes in the game. Yeah, there is. But the, the Ostringer, I mean, hands up for people who use Ice Luna in Destiny 1. Oh. Okay, yeah. there you go. Like, half the auditorium. Hold so, on. Hands up for the people who use Palindrome in Destiny 1. Oh, yeah, well, that's Okay, there but the go. reason you didn't use Palindrome... Angel's Advocate. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Palindrome was also really good. It just looked terrible. Yeah, it looked like a nerf gun. It, it didn't look good. And then half of Destiny is the function and the style. Ostringer is really good. And yeah, we just played it. And uh, yeah, we, we wrecked. Steve and I did uh, not too bad. We had this little PvP <laughs> man there. And I. Well, it doesn't matter. It's more funner. <laughs> so right, more, like, funner. Say, more funner. More funner. Fun. Bring um, back Vendor but, Hawksaw. No, but anyways, I think Ostringer is like a really good weapon that will be persistent in the, in the space regardless. My favorite activity is uh, easily blind well. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> wow. Just now, full of trolls today. Uh, I, I think we'll just switch it and go inverse. My favorite activity is raids. Like, God, that's it, you, the you best You blocked thing. them out? What? Because I, I know everybody would just God. say raids, and I wanted it for oh, myself. Oh, man. So, you know what? Really I don't have to be PC raid. anymore. I'm not your boss, and I don't work. I hate you, man. You said, you said we couldn't pick raids. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My real answer, if we're going by the rules <laughs> that I actually set, is <laughs> is menagerie. Also, but Stephen just said that, so yeah. The Raids. chaotic uh, magic is still alive. Oh, yeah. I think the thing that needs the most work, um, maybe well, blindwell and escalation protocol are in really weird places, right? You're not yeah. really incentivized to do it. There's a few weapons that you can get from EP that you might still want to run up for. Um, I really don't like doing blindwell. It feels like a wait work sort of at this yeah. point but it was a good way to get your lumina but what do you lumina? not like about it? i yeah. think <laughs> I, I feel like i feel like you would probably enjoy it if it was match made no no it is match no, it's like, certainly well, you know, like, no it's not i mean yeah, you like walk in and hope people show up mm -hmm. but that but that's what i <laughs> but it's that's about time I mean. investment right well that too it takes a really long time to get through the it's entire it's too repetitive experience. um yeah. I, I mean i think we could all agree right that uh, Blind Well and Escalation Protocol felt like the experiments they needed to get us towards Menagerie, don't yeah. you think? Yeah, yeah. And so like, like, that's the evolved version of those. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why my answer would have been Menagerie if I didn't totally. cheat. So yeah. it, it went... <laughs> Admitted it, clip like, it, thank you. Escalation Protocol, I'm like, hey, this is really cool. There's on something. It really sucks they don't have matchmaking. Blind Well, they sort of have matchmaking. Forges, yeah, okay. You throw balls at the thing, yeah. whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah, but then Menagerie, it's just like, it's six players, you go in, people usually seem, even with a bad Blueberry team, you're still done in 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you set a timer every time you play, don't you? Yeah, I do, no. No, but like, it's a really, really quick run to get your drop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. uh, I mean, so let's Menagerie, say, yeah. Let's, so let's what's, what's like the most troublesome is what I'm getting at. Like, what, what do you guys feel need the most work? 
Are you well, talking about specifically all game modes now? We, we picked our favorite yeah. okay. game modes. What game modes can we all agree? Well, the great thing about all the activities that you just ended, they are like the quote unquote end game activities of each season DLC, right? Yeah. And each one you listed, they've gone better within each season, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have Menagerie to work off on now. So Shadow Keep in Season of the Undying, I'm expecting something like Menagerie, but better. Yeah. So it's, it, we're, we're going in an upward trend, and I'm excited. Yeah, they, they, they keep learning. I actually mm -hmm. think Reckoning is the one. Reckoning has the potential, yeah. but it's the one activity that needs the most work, just the way that it works with Gambit. Um, but I, it's funny because it had a little bit of feel of what you experience in Menagerie, but it just you know, it doesn't have that magic. So I feel yeah. like that's the one that's uh, kind of an outlier. So mm -hmm. that's my pick for what needs the most work. Because Blindwell and, and um, uh, Escalation, I just feel like those yeah. were very small events comparatively. Mm -hmm. It feels like they were experiments to build towards yeah. something better, right? Uh, I would agree that Reckoning does need a lot of work. It kind of lost its luster. It's really arcadey, but yeah. the whole like wagering a moat system is odd. You know, it's odd that you put your thing in the thing and then you take that thing and put it in a thing <laughs> and then you do the thing and then you finish you it, get your thing and then you get it you... back, and then you put the thing in the thing, right. and then put that <laughs> yeah. thing in the other thing. It's like, what? Why is it designed like this? Why can't I just put the thing in the wager machine, <laughs> and then thing. do the act? Like, oh, why yeah, even have, have it synth, at all? You don't like synthing. For, the synth yeah. thing is so bizarre, and you, you only bake use a it cookie for one or two thing. before you get in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly, I like the. Yeah. Do you, everybody remembers the cookie baking festival yeah, thing, yeah. right? That was really fun. I had a good time with that, actually. Yeah. Like baking. Uh, Drops so you, basically. So you like that? You just don't want to have to like put it in the cookie jar or what? However. That I like the idea of having <laughs> a, a wager system, and then you kind of go play what you want, and then you get a reward for doing that. And I think that seems to be what they're sort of working on, or what they were with the cookie machine. The cookie machine. I also really like cookies. So yeah. But but I think Chalice actually does that pretty well too, because there is some yes. ambiguity with like, okay, what what happens here? And you need to kind of understand. And mm -hmm. so I, I think it's. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best systems that feels like you're progressing towards something and it's it's beneficial it, in that way. Versus isn't it funny? I have to wonder if they knew during the dawning and the cookie baking and it, that they were building Chalice already mm -hmm. or if they actually did that and decided that that would become Chalice, you know, baking. Maybe. You are baking yourself, uh, uh, you're baking your runes. Yeah, basically. So it's the same do mechanics. You, do you, so do you like this system or do you think they should move away from it? Do you like the... Chalice? Chalice, you know... Putting Cookies. things in for uh, reckoning. I, I think your biggest challenge is every time there's a new season of you know whatever comes, you can't have all those things farmed, apply it to the new season because yeah. people are constantly stockpiling things. So I think that is the reason why they have those things and you know different materials and all that stuff for each season. Mm -hmm. So I mean, think about if you launched in a new season and then you just had oh the same material, toss it in this way. No. Mm -hmm. What about you, Stephen? Do you like the system? For the chalice or baking? I, I got lost. They're all baking. <laughs> They're all a different version of baking. Uh, so do you think, think this should continue? or? The, well, the thing with Destiny is for the, the fans that play a lot, that understand the systems, it makes sense. It becomes second nature to us. But as a player, like, I, I took a break. I'm not going to lie. I took a break, and then I got into it again. And I opened the rune system up, and I was just like, hold on. What in the world is going on right now? <laughs> mm -hmm. Chalice out recipes. Yeah, and it took, yeah. it took me a while to understand it. But... <laughs> I think it's a good system. The, the end goal of the system is, is uh, efficient, but the whole like, quality of life system, I think, still needs working on. You know why I like it? Why, Dustin? Guaranteed power drops in the slot yes. that you need. Yeah, that's the, that's yeah. the, end, oh, that's the end game result. Huh. Takes a little yeah. bit of that RNG equation yeah. out of it in the slots, right? They're like, think. all right, go do all your weeklies and dailies, get all that done for the week, you get three. Yeah. Is it two or three? Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I maxed out my chalice like three. last week. So yeah. yeah. So yeah, you get three drops, and I got my warlock to 500 using the system, and the armor looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, that, and the that, rewards are good. That's what I was gonna say about yeah. it. Is I'm. Yeah. 300. <laughs> what am I thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We knew. I'm cool with the system um, for now, but the you know it definitely was a means to an end. I feel like it was like let's use this so you can get your bond or your mm -hmm. kit, whatever you need to go forward, so we solve that, but like, in other words, how would this apply to like a strike? Or in other mm -hmm. you know, if I need something, strikes need to be more valuable too. Yeah. And does that mean we're gonna have to pop runes for that? So I feel like it's a means to an end, it works for Menagerie, but across the game, the quality of life, like you're saying, it needs to be improved, it just needs to be smarter. You know like, how you make strikes valuable? 
strike specific weapons. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, exactly. Sure. Oh yeah, and the drop rate on those are insane. Like I did. Yeah. Uh, Lake of Shadows last week to get the primary grenade launcher, uh, Militia's Birthright. Yeah. But which I know the name of. Yes. Now. Militia's Birthright. How about that, complainers <laughs> who say I never know <laughs> the name of anything? What were you anything? calling it before? The grenade launcher. Oh yeah. Kinetic. <laughs> the primary slide grenade, grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you on that. Oh, kinetic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, though, like, you look at that scenario, though, and what Destin just said. Like, if you want to get power, though, I don't want to be locked to Menagerie is still the point. Yeah. If I just totally. want to get my strikes done, that, I believe, is what we all want as a community is, like, you know what? I don't want to have to do Menagerie. I like that, and it pushes people towards it. But at the same time, I just want to run this strike and have a chance to get the bond because I need yep. it. And that, to me, is what they need to tune up and figure out and if we're synthing or baking or yeah. whatever it is, I don't know. Well, okay. I think I think too with just um, you know how Eververse is going to work now in September that that will fix a lot of those things too. The ornamental, yeah, stuff, the ornamental you mean? stuff, yeah. Because now it's you can actually play and get something aesthetically pleasing and, and roll like that, right? So. Just for the look of it, too. Yeah. yeah. So guys, is there any mode or any activity we talked about reckoning? We talked about the baking system. Is there anything else that we <laughs> haven't mentioned that you think could use a little bit of workshop love? Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trials. Yeah. Trials. Countdown is. The replacement Action. for trials, basically, right? Like I mean, that was the was mode that we were, yeah, we, we were introduced. We would, we would like it to be elimination, and I mean, we've we've talked about this so many times. Yeah, elimination, yes, yes, yeah, yeah right. Um, it's great. Three v three or four v four? Three. Three. So what's weird is that three seems to be the common wait, game wait, type wait, mode wait. lately. CJ just got proven wrong. Can I see hands for three? It's three v three. There you go. All right, four v four. Let's see 4v4. Wow. Only Wait, a nobody? couple people a in the audience. Four, sorry, 4v4? Yeah, okay. Yeah. He's raising all, two all hands. All four yeah. people yeah. raise their hand again. Yeah. So these yeah. are the things that Steve and I kept talking about is that, you know, 4v4 was very big in, obviously, Bungie's DNA with Halo and all the rest of that stuff. It felt also really good in Destiny 1 when we did private matches and sweats and stuff, but it just never seemed to translate well in Trials. But it's hard to quantify why because there's so many things that were different in year one. Yeah. Well, when there's one less player on each team, the, the significance S stakes of stakes are so much higher. Up. Yeah. Like, you feel it when you play Apex Legends. When one player on your team goes down, the other two, they, it's they kind of panic. Yeah, you have to yeah. work together. When you play 4v4 and one player goes down, you still have two other teammates to rely on. It, it's yeah. just not as, yeah. it doesn't feel as. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like you have you know two sides and a bridge, but when what you lose one, you lose your bridge, yeah. and all of a sudden you're like you yeah, really exactly. got to figure that situation out yeah. fast. But we did see a little bit of a, a clip like a in the elimination. We saw that uh, <laughs> we saw the name of elimination yeah, on in Widow's the, uh, Court, in the Vidoc. Yeah, on, on Widow's Court. Court. Well, we don't know if it's going to be called something different, but yeah. a, a remade Widow's Court, which I'm super excited about. Yeah. This is why we shouldn't have mentioned Widow's trials, I guess. Cathedral. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I was going to say, I do, I'm curious what everybody else thinks. I, I'm still wondering about Gambit and Gambit Prime because do we need both? Um, yeah, so that's that was think? one of the modes I was going to ask about. So, like, I go back and play standard Gambit, and it's good if you're farming something. Like, if you need a lot of invades, well, actually, invades are pretty prevalent in Gambit Prime because that's basically the whole second half of the match after yeah, you, once boss you spawn your uh, primevals, mm -hmm. envoys. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It's weird that they sort of separated it in that way. And I don't feel like Gambit Prime is really that much different than Gambit. Yeah, it's that's weird. what I was going to say. I, I, mean, I, I don't know how to describe it. I, wanna, I, I don't, wouldn't go so far as to say it's bad because no, I, I like Gambit. I like Gambit Prime, but they're too similar. Well, so so let's do another vote in the audience. Who likes Gambit Prime versus Gambit? Yeah, you got to pick one. Yeah, you got to choose Kay. a side. And then Gambit, regular Gambit versus Gambit Prime. That's Gambit. And, and who's yeah. in, who Close. can't decide and just pick the side? Yeah. Who can't decide? Yeah, most, so, people, most people do have a definitive pick. 5%. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I, I think that... Initially, when we heard the details of Gambit Prime, I think I felt like the armor and all the rest of those things were going to play a bigger impact in the actual game mode in and mm -hmm. of itself. Not that it doesn't. It's just one of those things where you can still play and it doesn't matter as much as maybe what I was hoping for. Yeah. yeah. I, I think you hit it on, on the, the nail on the head with that they're not different enough. Mm -hmm. So they evolved Gambit. I like what they did with Gambit Prime, actually. But they're just, they almost need to just go farther apart. Um, and I also like the idea of that if you look at, like, Crucible as a, a place, you know, have Gambit, they need a third thing as well. Mm -hmm. And Giddus, that's not Reckoning, you know, it's for PvP. So hopefully that's what's coming, you know, is more differentiation. Uh, I don't know, it's something I'm just going to throw out there, too. I like earning the gear, the tiers of gear, but at the same time, when I 
saw that, I've always brought up, I'm like, man, they're so close to like an Overwatch or Apex scenario of like just having a class you can choose. And mm -hmm. I don't know how that translates, but I feel like there's something there for like quickly get in, pick your class and play, make it more accessible. Mm -hmm. Like even I don't have all that gear and then it's like in the vault anyway, I'm like, ah, screw it. You know, um, yeah. even with Dim, <laughs> Dim's amazing and it's, it's in there, but it's just the time to switch your gear Pick out. your load out and then like have it populate in your character. And yeah, yeah. Um, or you accidentally delete a piece and then it doesn't work. Or I, I mm -hmm. thought Gambit Prime, I mean, I'll draw an analogy to Trials <laughs> by accident. Here, here um, we go. I, I think that there was something special about just Trials being on a weekend. And, yeah. Gambit, tr mm. and Gambit Prime, I thought, was maybe going to be the weekend event. Mm. Um, so that, you know, if there was certain rewards and things like that for Gambit Prime exclusively on the weekend, you'd play that. And you could do that over and over and over again. I, I point. When yeah. Gambit, or sorry, when Trials launched, it was the fact that you went to the lighthouse and yes. you got a curated cutscene with your character yes. in it. And it's just like, I want that victory sequence. Yeah. And like, it had great loot, it had the armor looked awesome, yeah. and there were ways to earn the armor even if you didn't make it there, but you wanted that moment of triumph. Yeah. Yep. Right? And, um, and, and I apologize, it, uh, it slipped my mind. What was the uh, activity in Destiny 1 uh, in House of Wolves as well? We had Trials and Prison, Prison of Elders. Elders. Prison of Elders. That Come was the same way. To it's the like, prison. What, yeah, when you, when you descended into Prison of Elders, at the end when you got the chest, that felt super rewarding. And there was mm -hmm. bounties and all the rest of that stuff. So uh, there is something to be said about the, you know, that space that feels like a special space after you, you know, complete a match like that. Yeah. yeah. And now it's part of a strike. As yeah. A, as a. Yeah. Like throwaway sort of thing. It's funny that you just tear through. <laughs> you know, it's a bummer. Like I would awesome. love that mode. Warned of nothing. I love that. I was yeah. like, that, I like that strike, strike a lot. Yeah. And I love that throwback. It's funny how Menagerie is, you know, close to it in a lot of ways. Learned from obviously Prison of Elders. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, like, how does Prison of Elders fit in next to Menagerie? Mm -hmm. You know, it's got it's got to be evolved because we went back to what it was like, just standing and capturing points. You know, why bombs might blow up. Mines, yeah. Destroy mines. Oh, <laughs> so uh, oh. You knew I wanted to do it. Uh, yeah. So I, I loved the vibe of prison, though. It was really yeah. cool. So I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that becomes more of the playlist. Like it's all six v six matchmaking, and you have prison and menagerie and something else. Like yeah. I guess I could go for that. Any other mode you wanted to mention, Stephen? Before I move on. No. I'm good. All right. Then <laughs> let's talk about perks. You know what perk I like on a sniper sniper rifle? <laughs> Hip fire. Yes. Perfect <laughs> sniper rifle perk. Uh, uh, for me, there are two two perks that are I hate We're getting on anything. Worst perks. Worst most perks. disliked. <laughs> you can pick best, but we all know it's like rampage, outlaw, kill clip. Yeah. You know those are, those are pretty coveted. Yep. Snapshots, really good. Those are easy, right? Why do <laughs> I hate firmly planted? If yeah. I get firmly, anything that's like, hey, crouch for a while and Delete. you'll get better, I'm like, what? Yeah. 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 Field, field prep. prep. Oh yeah, field prep. Field prep. Firmly planted uh, and yeah. hip fires on, hip fires fine on hand cannons, but on yeah. a sniper? Yeah. yeah. What? I'll, yeah. You, since we're on that topic, yeah. sneak bow was also there. I don't really use bows, but sneak bow is the same thing. You like <laughs> yeah. gotta crouch and sneak with the bow. <laughs> yeah. For a faster this reload on a bow, by the way. Yeah. Like I, I get they needed to make something, but there's uh, special those challenges. Are there's special challenges for Dado. To complete yes, exactly. Yeah. The Dado <laughs> challenge. Yeah. Yeah. But then you find out it's like the OP thing to use in the raid, so. <laughs> you have to be firmly planted. Like that DPS. Green, the green grenade launcher <laughs> that everybody was using or whatever. Yeah, and botheration. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some, some yeah. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. in there as well. Yeah. Um, any other perks that I'm forgetting? That's <laughs> uh, sh Shield Disorient is on mine. Uh, it oh, works really? on Arbalest, obviously. Is I forget what that one is called in particular. Yeah. Exotic version. But Shield, I mean, who uses Shield Disorient? I'm curious. Show of hands. You equip it. All right. So, But see, yeah. it's like a 3 2 3% 3 of the audience. It's not that it's like terrible but like right you have to match the shield it breaks and it confuses the, t the enemies around them it's so specific very op um just use loaded question you don't need to confuse the enemies just yeah. <laughs> kill them yeah right. done yeah. yeah boom what about you steven you got to have something that you hate getting on a gun outlaw on a shotgun <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait is that nice. does that drop yeah yes. okay i've All not had time. that really <laughs> oh i never time. get that oh my god uh, outlaw on a shotgun is by far my least favorite perk. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hurts. I'll tell you which perk I miss actually a lot from Destiny 1. Yeah? Firefly. Oh, well, yeah. 
Yeah. There was nothing more rewarding than sniping somebody and watching their body explode. Yeah. Well, that's still in D2. It is, but it just does not feel Dragonfly, it's yeah. not the same. It's just not the Don't same. Don't you have to hit headshots for that to proc, though? You do, but I mean, but Maybe just... that's the problem, CJ. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to do a 1v1 again, I'm going no. to oh, oh, yeah. Got him. <laughs> got him. You just um, throw the mic off the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it is one of those things where, yeah, it, there was just something about, yeah, headshots in Destiny 1 with the sniper that felt really rewarding, and it's just, yeah, that perk. It was that so controller aim there. assist that you're missing. Oh. Controller Actually, no, you still use it, everybody out there, controllers? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. CJ watches us playing on keyboard and mouse, and he's like, I want to learn it, but it just seems like work. It yeah. does. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like work when you're hunched over a desk with your yeah, you arms like this? you sit forward and yeah. press like, wait, I'm W. Curious, I'm curious. It's, uh, like, it's like sending an email. It's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Who, plays, for that brand? Who plays on <laughs> Xbox main? Yeah. Nice. Right. Okay. PlayStation. Xbox. A lot yeah. of PlayStation. Okay. Like this PC. is great. PC? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's, okay. PC's actually low in this room. So, it's really refreshing to see so many console for, players. Yeah, there's so. about, yeah, I'd say yeah. probably like, what, like 40% PlayStation, I, I 20 a, Xbox. Yeah. Sorry. For those who I, couldn't see it, it was re, PlayStation, yeah. PC, Xbox. Yeah. No, no, no. I'd Pretty say sure. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Really? Okay. Re, real quick, though. Oh, yeah, I think it was. I have a follow-up to that. Who will play on another platform when crossplay starts? Raise your hand. You'll buy yeah. another copy as well. Yeah, and you got to yeah. buy the other copy. A few hands went down. A few hands went down. Forgot about that part. So Still who, awesome, who though. will not be moving platforms? Who won't use cross save or move? All right, like I don't know. So, but good feature overall. One digging fifth? cross save. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's great. That's the thing. Yeah, cross we're excited about cross save. I will hop on PS4 now. I'll hop on Xbox more because yeah. I don't have to level three accounts. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody playing on Stadia? I'll okay. check it out. Yeah. You might want to get each other's info because that might be about <laughs> oh, the player base. Oh, there you yeah. go. I hope they like loosen up the rules of Stadia. Yeah. That's odd. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, they can't play with PC or Well, what? I mean, oh, that, I mean yeah, but that but would it's be its own platform, man. Right. I mean, and so I think that would be the next question, as we've all said, like, okay, cross save. We are all, we're all believing that's possible. Cross play. That's very different, yeah. I yeah. know, but it feels like, you know, maybe a possibility in the future. They I, said I, they, they will and want to do it. Exactly, they did say yeah. that. But it's fair. not something I ever thought that I would be believing would be possible in Destiny 2. And since Crossplay got announced, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Now maybe that and Trials could come back. Yeah, we're getting closer. Um, Just but yeah, I, I can't wait to play with more people on more platforms. And it is a good reminder. I know I joked about having to buy a copy, but you can hop in in the first year, Destiny 2. First that, Light, Which is now yeah. New Light, or First Light. Wait, which one's the PvP map? Wait, it's New Light, right? New light or first light? It's yeah. Did Destin have it right or Fran? <laughs> what first, is the first light? I don't even know. Now, Matt, it's Destiny right. to yeah. Destiny to New Light. I got it right. Yeah, okay. So anyway, that is free and it is I honestly can't remember. It is. So Sorry. you can you can go to any platform with your yeah. cross save and use that and play any activity. I believe you know that was in Destiny 2 the first mm -hmm. year. So that's cool. Um, it's you know, really cool. I, like I think it's fantastic. I can't wait to see Steam users adopt this. Yeah. Anybody that's on console who like has heard about Destiny for better or for worse, they're probably going to be popping in to check it out. I think the player base is going to jump dramatically. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. It could be really good for all of us here that are looking for more people to play with and, yeah. and more inspiration for the team to grow and do bigger things. And if Stadia and New Light and everything brings in more people, and we always see with a big new release, and I feel like it's getting a lot more momentum, even though it's not Destiny 3, uh, you know, as big as possible. Uh, How's that again? The 3... Backwards okay. for them, Just checking. I think. But, yeah. uh, but you know, with, with 2, it was a big relaunch, and we saw a huge infusion of people, but then 2 was not in the shape that we wanted it to be, and it actually drove a lot of people away. So I think with it being free in particular, people will give it another shot, and we've all been very positive on it lately, and I think that's helped a lot, obviously, yeah, too. Yeah, for sure. Yep. So one of the other topics we wanted to go over, we did want to talk about raids a little bit. We want to talk about the three new raids. Last year, we ranked all of them. And that was basically the entirety of the panel. So I want to talk about the three newest ones that have been introduced since that point and talk about where Bungie and uh, Vicarious Visions and the, everybody who, who worked on these have gone since then. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten The Last Wish, we've gotten Scourge of the Past, and Crown of Sorrow. Crown of Sorrow is fairly new for most people. Yeah. Uh, which raid is the best out of all those? Last wish. So let's so let's yeah, open up the audience. Fair. Last I, I wish. I know that's what I think too. Yeah. And on the stage, last wish. Keep your hands up for a second. Oh, oh, oh just me. Yeah, just well, me. Yeah. You said oh, audience. last wish wins. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
But who, we got to do second place. I'm so. guessing second place is uh, who would have voted for uh, Scourge of the Scourge of the Past is the best. No, nope, wow, no, not as. Oh wait, okay. we got one back for there. second place. Back. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're Scourge voting the, for second is place. Is Scourge right? second or yeah. yeah? Is Scourge second? Raise your hands. No. All right. So last me. wish. Nobody for Scourge. Yeah. So and second then place is Crown, Crown of Sorrow. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what I. Show of hands. Who who has not done. Uh, any of those three rates yet. That's fair. Okay. Wow. That's a good point. Yeah. It's about like, yeah. yeah, 10%. Okay, so it's, let's talk about the encounters in each of these raids because last wish, you you have the opening, you have Kali, right? Yep. And then you have, what is it? Shurochi. Shurochi, mm -hmm. the puzzle. Yeah. Then you have the ogre. More then death. you have the vault. Yep. yep. And then you have Riven. Mm hmm. And then you run around along with your and the teammates. esophagus <laughs> thing and <laughs> yeah. dream world, um, whatever. I love Last Wish. Last Wish has a, a very special place in my heart because uh, the raid team that I was on, we were actually like some of the first people to get to Riven, and it was a really crazy experience for me to be at that point. And for Fran, it was one of his worst raid experiences because he couldn't <laughs> play with a blind team. Power Here per we go. hour. Get the Here power we go. Okay. Hour. It's simple math, it's people. Coming. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. So, um, Did you trademark that yet? Working on it. <laughs> Nobody else do it. So I'm going to kind of jump topics here because <laughs> no, I, wanna, I, I really want to get your take on this. But you I, brought but a I, power per hour. Yeah, are we jumping that? <laughs> no, go ahead. I was just, I mean, last wish, I, hopefully everyone. Agree. Yeah, all the encounters, I love that um, there was so, so much combat in the beginning plus puzzle work. Um, they did a good job. In other words, like I felt like Le Leviathan, like even sneaking around with the dogs, it just slowed down a lot. Uh, and they, I thought they did a really good job. That's why I've always liked King's Falls, one of my absolute favorite raids, because there's, yeah, so much good stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. And the boss encounters, like there's always a boss. Um, so I really enjoyed it. And that's why I like Last Wish the best. We were talking with uh, Santa Ana Rage at dinner about King's Fall, actually. Yep. I love that raid. What was the coveted thing in that raid that you went after? Besides, like you got gear that looks sort of cool, but what was the thing that you really wanted? The yeah, ship. The ship, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. But did you bring anything out? Any I just liked gun playing. or gear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Machine, machine gun. gun Quillums. Was awesome. uh, Quillums, Quillums, actually. Quillums, that's Quillums, right. and then actually, uh, Defiance, Yasmin, the sniper the Defiance of Yasmin was actually one of my favorite Very good snipers. Sniper. Yeah, what it was about really the hand good. cannon? Oh, <laughs> Salus Bane. What oh, was dude, it? Dude, that was so good. That was so good. No. I called that one Glimmer. Yeah. Shard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the machine gun from that uh, raid was pretty solid, though. That stayed in my inventory probably almost the remainder of Destiny, you know, one, actually. Mm -hmm. So, inversely, if we look at Last Wish, what was the gear that we pull out of there? 1K for sure yeah. is on oh, that yeah. list. Nation of Beasts, curator role. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the scout rifle, and I'm not being certain. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> is that train? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Chattering yeah. Bone was awesome. Are yeah, scouts Chattering good Bone. On, are scouts good on console? I have no idea. All right, they're, no. they're just bad across the board. Then, wait, wait, right? wait, wait. Who yeah. mines, though? Because does anybody want to use a bunch of scout rifles long range? I, I would do. like them to be okay, usable. Yeah, no, right. Now, here's the thing. Come I'm, on. Now, listen. Now, listen. In, P out. in PvE, fine. But honestly, at the at Destiny 2 Year 1 with scouts and Mida was not good. That mm -hmm. that destroyed me in, uh, in PvP. Yeah, did you like Hung Jerry? Destiny 1. I yeah. mean, Destiny 1, but Destiny 1 is not Destiny 2. So... I'm just they should be usable. So, I'm with Destin. I mean, you got to. But they're on usable. Yeah. Yeah, Some people fair. use Mida, actually. Yeah. It's usable, but. On purpose? Yes. <laughs> Is that a desperation? Or like yeah, I mean, so, so there you go. So there's, there needs to definitely be some kind of balancing where they're effective in PvE much more than they are right now. Yeah. Because in um, PvP, I'm not a big fan of the, the Scout Rifle meta. Mm -hmm. But yeah, honestly, out of Last Wish, although I liked getting the curated stuff or some good stuff like Nation Beast, I really it was about 1,000. Taking places. mods. Yeah, yeah, well, and the mods, the mm -hmm. mods, that's, that's been an interesting addition to the raids and, and activities like Reckoning is, like, getting mods out of them can be really powerful for you, and that's yeah. been a nice, that's a very, like, hardcore chase. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of times people are sitting on mods, and if they don't use them enough, they're like, you know, they're like, wait, I do have that. Um, because, again, we're used to chasing weapons and armor, yeah. but this is a new layer, so I, I know we're getting a lot more of that in Shadowkeep, so I can't wait to see what they do. I'm so for sure. Yeah. Steven, uh, what CJ. do you think? About what? But last wish and some of the weapons that you're chasing. Last wish there. is my favorite raid of all time. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, Better than Vault. Every all the encounters, uh, they make you feel super powerful. The the aesthetic design, the environment, love it. Uh, I love that this is like 
I guess King's Fall kind of tied in. Well, it did tie into the campaign, but Last Wish felt more substantial in terms of tying into the campaign. Yes. And then even yeah. after it tied in to the Dreaming City, and spoiler alert, I'm it's a long it's way. Fine. It's Thank been you. a while. Okay. Yeah. We don't know what happened to Aldrin yet, and it's tied into Riven, and it's, yeah. I just love yeah, that it's entire cool, it's, encounter. Yep, it's more than just like, you know, yeah, like I don't know where uh, Eater of World fits into the narrative. Yeah. I don't know if it does. Somebody will tell me it does. But, yeah, yeah. but Last Wish was like, I 100% agree. And even yeah. the Ascendant challenges on top of it, yeah. it all oh, yeah. really tied together. And that's where I'm hoping Last Wish goes, uh, mm-hmm. sorry, uh, Shadow Keep goes and brings the Forsaken model forward again. So I'm going to talk about Scourge of the Past for a second because yeah. I, I don't even understand why, but I have an emotionally negative reaction just thinking about the raid. Really? <laughs> I really don't like that raid. What huh. raid? Yeah. The last, um, the... the wait, wait, I, there's some good guns Scourge. on there, like the, uh, the primary oh, shoddy. Scourge. Yeah. Well, uh, Anarchy, uh, obviously, yeah. is amazing to get well, out of there. Well, it's amazing. So. It is amazing for now. one thing yeah. and one thing only. Yeah, but it's right? really cool. It's a cool weapon to get. Is it? Yeah, I don't have well, it. So cool I've heard because you want it in Crown of Sorrow. <laughs> yes, because it glitches you shoot out the some boss, hands. Right. Uh, but besides yeah. that, who's rolling around with their anarchy doing sweet dips? On yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no sweet one. dips. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, what's the shotgun? Uh, yeah, the, what is it called? What threat level, yes, threat yeah, level. Threat level yeah. Oof, that yeah, is good. The primary shot, yeah. Dude, I rock that everywhere. It's so good. I just use threat level, recluse, and swarm of the raven. Yeah. Like, every, like, It's an incredible loadout. Because <laughs> yeah, right. you get you get Ikelos, and I'm talking PvE for the most part. Uh, it's just amazing. Like, My primary is recluse, and trench barrel uh, on the shotgun is amazing to have because you you know don't have Ikelos otherwise. I kind of got to put you on the spot. What? Did you actually earn recluse? Yes, I did, but I got help from uh, some people. But I, you have to play the game. It's not yes. like I did an account recovery with somebody. So, okay, I still had to. No, pee. I got to give you props. Uh, I did it, not. It's pretty good. Yeah, I actually. Right. Um, and I feel guilty about it every day that I kill people in PvP with Actually, rap. I believe it. <laughs> That's good. I feel like, actually, yeah, it was um, Carolina and uh, their Discord. It was Carolina was helping me. And then uh, nice, actually dude. Click and uh, Michael and some other folks did the last part where I just had to get my kills. You did the comp grind. Yeah. So mm. it's amazing. Yeah, it's solid. Definitely get reckless. It's doable, is what I'd say, and it's incredible. If Paul Tassi can do it, that's right. From Forbes, <laughs> right, Paul? <laughs> Anybody can do it, <laughs> right, Paul? <laughs> One day he says. Uh, yeah. Uh, that that gun's nuts, though. Seriously, it's but, so good. Yeah. So going into scourge, I just really don't like that encounter. I just find it boring and annoying. You don't mm. like the last boss at all? You go in, you run around with orbs, you put them into the main thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's sort of, okay, whatever. North, south, east, west. We <laughs> solved it. Destiny Somebody doesn't calls like yeah. putting things in things. <laughs> yeah, Destiny hates putting I hate it. You get the thing, uh, you put it in the no thing. And yeah. yeah. At least in Cook. the... It, it, <laughs> I, Cook it. I will say... At least you, in the forges, you get to throw them. Right. <laughs> and then they bounce off because you don't hit the right spot. Here's I, a crazy idea. Everything's you kill all the little guys, you spawn the big guy, you damage the big guy. What if they flipped it? What if you kill the big guy... Kill the medium power guys, and then you have to kill out waves of low level guys. For the last ending? Instead, this, this massive door opens up, and there's this tiny dude that hops out. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the largest DPS bar. Yeah, ever. exactly. <laughs> it takes forever to no, kill him. It's, it's Randall the Vandal. He's just all no, no. Swords yeah, I'm it. talking Randall like a boss, right, that has a large health pool, orange bars basically, or just more powerful guys, but then a bunch of red bars, but there's a lot of them. It's like one duck, one big duck. I think you're More describing. hundred little ducks. You should play know. Pikmin, is what you're describing, yeah. by the way. So. All right. Pikmin. Then we woke in the hive place. So uh, like I can game. actually. I think you're on some desk. It might be the uh, least well paced raid. It's mm-hmm. just got odd pace to it. Um, like I like the the last boss and stuff, but it's just it's the way the beginning starts, and then like you gotta like navigate your way through, and then you gotta ride on the sparrow. The it's very ride. different though, yeah. and it, again, I like they experiment with some stuff, but it feels. Oddly paced. I, I yeah. Agree. So, are we going to rank them within the context of the other raids from D1 as well? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I, I thought we weren't going to do that. We weren't going to do them all. <laughs> no, no. Like, okay. well, well, I, mean, I think they want us to do them. All. I mean, yeah. Who wants Wait, us we, to kind of? Do we have yeah, other topics though? Still? Uh, yeah. yeah, there are a few more more things I want to go over. Like, um, what are the worst and best parts of raids, just in general? Because we didn't even really talk about 
Crown of Sorrow. I think Crown of Sorrow is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Crown of Sorrow is really cool. I love the vibe, man. It's so cool. It feels a little bit menagerie, you yeah. know? And then I like the, the encounters. I really like the final boss encounter. I don't like the, the one where you got to break the guy's shield that much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steve and I were talking the about bather. this. There's a lot of raids now in D2 that require um, communication because there's some visual things. And, and not that this is a bad thing. I just think that. I liked Argos. That was probably one of my favorite encounters so far Argos in D2. Yeah. Just because of all the things that you can do visually with your teammates looking at them. Like, I don't mind that you need to have an abacus to, you know, program Last Wish. Like, it was like, oh, dear God, I'm looking at all these <laughs> symbols. What does this mean? Like, how many people actually, like, made enemies of your friends the first couple of days of Last Wish? Oh, like, yeah. Dude, I, Wait, why? that is a dragon, like, looking to the left. No, yeah. man, it's like, well, say oh, the right thing. Oh, bird on a branch. You had to agree on go. the names. Yeah. Um, and, and I like that. I think there's... I'm glad that they've done that for a lot of raids in Destiny, but I think there's something to be said about having, you know, Argos is you're moving around, you're paying attention to what your teammates do, and you could actually do that raid not talking to anybody and just visually paying attention to what's happening on the battlefield. And I think that that's a part of Destiny that I enjoy, less so in the last few raids because they require such intense communication because there's things happening on the other sides that you don't necessarily see. Yep, I agree. So, so uh, just talking about the three newest ones, we'll call this the latest season. I know this season, or this quarter. I don't know what the you want to call Last year, it. really. Yeah, yeah okay, the last year of yeah. Destiny. Uh, what has been your favorite encounter and least favorite encounter? Out of all three raids. Out of, out of those three raids. Just thinking about it for a second. I mean, I know. Yeah, I, I have one of uh, Surochi. I like that one because I like the mobility. That's I, your favorite? I, I think it's one of my favorite. Yeah, I actually just like the way that you had your supers, you were chaining things together. And that's why I was saying if you paid attention to your teammates, you, you didn't need to play that encounter calling anything out. It was just that energy of looking around and seeing what people are doing. And then once you realize you had to jump on these platforms and light up, uh, you know, this, you shoot each other. There's just all these things where you're going, okay, this makes sense. You just do it once. You know what you're doing, and you don't mm -hmm. have to have constant crosstalk on the mic. It's just you got to do what you need to do, do that, make it work. Yeah, Sirochi might honestly be my least favorite. Really? <laughs> really? No, dude. <laughs> she has eight gates that you have yeah. to break down. Yeah, you know? but it, but it, All like, right, good it's a little DPS repetitive gated. After a while. Yeah, but good there, DPS. But there's gated something again. to be said about the fact that that encounter had like almost like a story. You went through different parts of a level, and you you progressed over you know, the span of this part yeah, leading up, up the to the tower. Yeah, up the tower. Like, it, it was really cool that there was a bunch of different areas for that encounter, so, but. I, I thought you liked I, I understand stuff. the verticality of it. Like, you, I can you, see why, why you enjoy that yeah. part of it. I just, I don't like the damage gating, and it's continually damage gated throughout that whole experience, and then you gotta go stand on puzzle pieces to finish a puzzle. And yeah. It's, it's not, like, terrible. It's not the worst thing I've ever played. But, I, think, um, I think because it was different. But I, I, I don't enjoy that encounter out of the, out of all the encounters in Last Wish, that's the one where I'm like, eh. Yeah, I don't like this one. Yeah, I mean, I like lanterns in in Crota as well. I, I think there's just something yeah. about there's certain encounters that are dramatically different from others, and to me, that one was very different. Mm. What were you, Fran? You want to say something? I yeah, it's, I'm hesitating because it's so fresh in my mind, and it's very easy, like like you were doing with Menagerie. In my opinion, it's brand yeah. new and it's fresh. So of course, it's amazing. But like after you play, I that worry about that times, too. Yeah, it wears thin, but. Uh, Galran is a really cool encounter, the last boss in Crown of Sorrow. Yeah. So cool, right? Yep. Yeah. Raises his hands, you gotta shoot his the, hands down, shoot him in the face. Above. I like actually all of the mechanics. There's so much going on in there that's really interesting. And like you said before, I don't like the bather before as much. Um, mm -hmm. It's just the way it works. But to, to be working with the whole team, you've got crystals on the map, you've got to shoot these hands, and like bringing the axe down, and really like, that's really cool. I always love in. Yeah any event when you have just a big animated moment that makes it more interesting. Like I always bring up uh, Metroid Prime as one of my all time favorite games. Anybody mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. All right, all few right. People. All right. Few. But I always, and Zelda is really the inspiration for it, but when you like break a point on an enemy, right? And just like the eye explodes and then the next phase. And yeah. so anyway, I love what they did with Crown of Sorrow. So I, th I think it might be my favorite out of all of them. Pretty it just, cool, right? it's, it looks so cool. Yeah, I agree. What about you, Steven? What's your favorite like encounter? My favorite. Well, I'll start with my least favorite. Uh, my least favorite encounter is probably the f the very first part of Scourge, just the because opening with a map and you yeah, gotta it just put seems, the balls in the thing. It just seems way too like <laughs> slow, and the guy's just reading the map. It's like, no, you're not, you're not there. Oh, you just drove past him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go back. Yeah, yeah. That's probably my least favorite. My favorite uh, <laughs> encounter, and I ju usually judge encounters off the first time I do them, is the Riven fight. 
the yeah. ribbon yeah. fight. Yeah, working together on with the other team and calling out the eyes and all that, and then calling out the symbols. I think that was uh, super tense. And then you have to go down the elevator shaft, do it again. Uh, will I ever do that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I, I love that encounter. Yeah, that first experience when you descended and actually saw Ribbon, yeah, that I think was, is pretty cool. Yeah, that was and probably the end yeah. as well. Yeah, and then, and then yeah. you're floating down and you're shooting the scabs, and it, it was just such a cool encounter. Yeah, but I'll I'm never gonna do that again. Yeah. I'll never forget because we're <laughs> at that bombs. part, right? Like we're doing the raid race, day one, and I draw this dotted map. <laughs> and I tweeted it out and pinned it because I'm like, this will help you when you get there. Uh, it will make no sense right now. And it was the eyes. Yeah. 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 So how was it, guys? It was uh, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5? Or was it L1, L2, L3, L4, or L5? Should have been like left reading or right. a book or some weird destined way of doing everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I went through, through the same thing. I don't know how to quantify that. You went through response. Destin. So yeah. yeah, right, there's like the Z of eyes on one side mm -hmm. and then the other way is uh, mirrored, I believe, in the shape of it, right? But well, one's a V and one's a five-sided die. Right, yeah. Yeah. But, but anyway, of course, the same problem, the way that Fran does things is always a little weird. And so <laughs> we had, you know, L1, L2, L3, the order. And on the opposite side, I mirrored it in my brain <laughs> because of the other side. So of course it was just... So in other words, where the two met in the middle, they weren't the same uh, number. Oh my God. And so anyway, it well, made perfect <laughs> sense to me. And, and, I get it. And I explained but, it to someone and they were like, yikes. what? And I drew them the map, like you said, and then they were like, oh, I see what you're saying, I but gotta, why? I gotta say, man, I miss sitting here and just watching exactly. you guys talk. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Us? Yeah. Okay. That's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe we should do the next raid together, yeah, Destin. No. Yeah. No. I think we would kill each other. It's funny. I was absolutely yeah. joking as well. So. <laughs> yeah, that would, be, that would be scary for everybody. Uh, all right. So uh, I, I have to agree. I think Ribbon's probably my favorite experience. Ribbon and, solid. Yeah. And uh, Sir T was probably my, my least favorite. Uh, there is another topic just Purple. about the raids that we've been discussing internally and like with our raid teams and... I'm really curious, what do you guys think is the ideal window for preparation? Oh, the oh. last raid was a <laughs> six hour window, and honestly, I called it for our raid team because I'm like, I have to sleep, I feel ill. You know, like, <laughs> I, I'm not doing any benefit to the team. I'm after angry. the first day. After the first yeah. day. He's married and now. You, we did 18 <laughs> hours. I had just gotten married. I beat Fran, of course. Yes, as, of as course. everybody knows. Congratulations, oh, by the way. Officially, man. didn't just, get to say it. Thanks, uh, Destin handshake. was at work watching all of our strats and, and adjusted. And <laughs> it's I fine thought, because at the end of the day, he won, and that's all that matters. Dead serious. I thought he had it. it we were so, so yeah. close, man. We just, yeah. honestly, like you said, we stayed up till 4 a.m. So right, you go six hours yeah. till 4 p.m. Pacific time, and then we played until 4 a.m. Pacific time. Yeah. Eventually, just had to freaking call. But we were so close. Yeah. And same thing the next day, you were getting off work, and we were right there. And you, yeah. it, you would like you said, I think you were like, we're not gonna get there in time. But then you yeah. came in, and you guys just were like fresh. Well, I got there, and I think it was like Teddy and the crew, right? What? <laughs> and anyway, um, Teddy. Teddy's that guy doesn't somewhere. Exist. Where is Teddy? He He's gone. Exist. Nice. Teddy. There's Teddy. He was on Destin's yeah. team. Yeah, give him a round. Teddy. That is give him Teddy. A round of applause. He what actually, is the clan name again? He does exist. It's, uh, what's your clan name? Clan, clan name, name, Teddy. Con clan concern. concern. Yeah. So it was like IGN concerned, and I'm like, we should like make sure to <laughs> differentiate that IGN's not concerned about anything. But yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. But uh, his team's great. It's uh, him, Global Reset, Backwards, your brother. Did he run with us? And then it was me and Brian Malkowitz. I, I, when I get a carry two deaths and I forget the names of the people, it's okay. No, I, I know their <laughs> names just, very well. I totally get it. it. We actually still play world. together regularly. Yeah. And it's, it's been really, Now, you guys really, have been really playing cool. together a while. So. Yeah. And uh, that raid has totally gotten me back into Destiny in, in a great way. Yeah. And Bungie's just done so much good stuff lately. But the, the mm -hmm. question, thank you, the, and thank Bungie, really. Yeah, it was yeah. about Bungie. Yeah. 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 Right. Give it up for right. Bungie. Right. Amazing yeah. job lately, seriously. For sure. Just in case they're in the crowd somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. But the question I'm asking is, I think they're really close with the raid prep. What yeah, we is didn't... the ideal window? Last Wish was a week. Right? First of all, I'm with you. I, how many people, let's just check this because I almost feel like not many people. How many people want to play that six hours and go straight into a raid? Who wants that? 
There's like wow. literally 10 I need, people I need your or, intel. or fewer. A couple, okay. couple people out of... Uh... Uh, I think with contest, my, my quick answer is, I think with contest plus power per hour, about, let's call it five hours a day, you get about five, whatever your levels need to be. You play that from you know, Tuesday and you go in Friday at a designated time. That's mm -hmm. what I would like to see. And yeah. it all should add up so I don't have to grind 10 hours a day because I have other things in my life. Not that I don't appreciate the people who did such an amazing job, but... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, um, but, I, but, I will, what day did you say, Fran? Friday? Friday. So, well, if it goes Tuesday, straight out to the next Friday, right yeah. away. But What day does the raid launch, I guess, is my question, is Friday Fri the day? But the whole work thing. That was your whole thing. Like, oh, absolutely. Sure, sure. There. I guess perfect world. Yeah. I'd love to see a Saturday, but yeah. they're never going to do it. Like, yeah. Bungie doesn't want to work Saturday. Oh, okay. yeah. That's part of it. Uh, <laughs> does anybody think that Friday or Saturday, uh, sorry, who would yeah, pick, let's, pick one. let's say we have pick Friday one. or Saturday to pick from. Who picks Friday? Raise your hand. And who picks Saturday? Yeah, more people else. for Saturday. Yeah. Bungie. I don't know what I would, <laughs> I would, I don't know, man. The people That's give the people one. what they want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Teddy, you're up here. This I is Teddy. Here. He runs Yo, the Teddy. Oh. This. I am, welcome to my TED talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, yes. many, how many raids have we run now, Teddy? I Five. have done all of them day one, with the exception of Last Wish. And I meant together. Uh, we've done four together, Dustin, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. No, Dustin's great, sometimes. Wow. <laughs> like 70% of the time, I'm great. I'll take 7. it. 7.9. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, it's an internet Last thing. raid, six hours. The one before that was... I'm sorry, what was the question? How many days prep? For which raid? The what do you want one, it six to hours, be? Oh. The one before that was Scourge, right? So Scour Scourge, we had three days. Uh, last wish, we had 10 days. And um, this last one for Crown, we had six hours, yeah. which I think is bad. Yes. Um, so what do we want? I think the three-day one would be pretty good. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, saying. Thursday, I, Friday. I'm OK with three days if it's like the seasonal drop idea, where it's um, you basically don't have a story that you're playing through. But when mm -hmm. you have a story like Forsaken, mm -hmm. I don't want to rush through that. Actually, you make yeah. a really good point. I, I guess I want that too. I, I'd, honestly, I would take three weeks. I know a lot of people are opposed no. to it. No, I, I know. just said that was terrible. <laughs> That's not long. why that was terrible, though, it's too long. when I played it. Um, but anyway, I want enough prep time. But the point is, I just don't want to have to grind 10 to 12 hours and have any advantage if you do. So as long as they keep that under control, to actually 10 days, I agree, because you want to enjoy it, have the weekend. I actually wasn't thinking about that. It's a really good point. So the, yeah. the week it, after, plus like you know, that game. Friday. Yeah, if you have a can if you have a campaign where you're feeling like you're grinding through it in order to get to the raid, uh, that's you don't want to rush it. Yeah, either. like I actually really enjoyed the Forsaken campaign and yeah. doing all that stuff leading into the raid, and I still got a chance to play the raid uh, day one as well. It's really good, but definitely I think there's something we said when we asked how many people played the raid day one. How many people have actually you know been involved in the competitions as well too that you play like for 24 hours, or are you just playing? So hands up. Yeah, if who's you, tried to get worlds yeah, first? If you're question. in the world's first oh, race, has anybody actually? competed for okay, yeah first. so there's only really like a half dozen or a dozen or so hands yeah. that's and that's not a lot of people in that space yeah. so i appreciate the fact that you know they have implemented those things for the people who are competitive and engaged in that i actually really like watching raids i've realized even with oh, myself really now fun. yeah it, it's super oh, fun yeah. and it creates like this excitement that i think is definitely something in the community that, that people will get excited about leading to it. But what I like to have about seven to 10 days leading up to it, so it doesn't feel like a massive grind that you're just yeah. trying to get there and-, and Yeah, and it can be unhealthy everything. as well. Yeah. yeah. I, so yeah. You're, you're seven to 10, CJ? Yeah, somewhere around there, only on account of just, if you think of a campaign launch within it, I don't want to feel like I'm blasting through the campaign in order to get to the raid and get to the right power level. So, so let yeah. me get this straight with this insanity. Uh, Fran <laughs> and I just agreed yeah. No, but Whoa. I changed my answer like, in normal fashion. <laughs> um, oh. Teddy, Teddy convinced me. Yeah, I like the ten day model because I, I convinced you. With the T Teddy, did yeah. you want? Do you I want you ten had some days? Good points. Um, yeah, oh. ten days is fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with Steven? that. Yeah, ten days is fine. With contest though, and I think three is good. Well, oh, with contest. Hold on. So, so with I, I have a, I have a rant yes. about contest. Right. If you're going to give me six hours, don't limit me. Like, if I could be three days and still limit me, and it's the same result. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, give me more time. I, I think there was somebody else who said this. It might have even been you, Destin. Ooh, and if you're right, that would be bad. Um, <laughs> uh, something about when Menagerie launched, or I, I can't remember what it was, it would have been nice to maybe just grind one single activity and be able to yeah. power up from that rather than doing a whole bunch of previous content that was released before. So, you know, yeah. the Menagerie launches, you could do that an unlimited amount of times in three hours. 
as your power level. I would have loved to just play all the new content that yeah, me was too. available. That's yeah. how I felt. Instead of like running the Nightfall well, and because, doing all the Because they closed some of those raids yeah. off for that reason, right? Yeah. So they have the ability to do something like that where maybe they could say, hey, if you're going to grind for power, do it in this one activity, whatever you end up being after grinding I, that activity. I, I think contest is the way to do it, though. I, yeah, I, it, I it, like it's contest. a good implementation of it. Does anybody not like contest? Raise your hand. Not one person like dislikes contest. Have it. So I, I think they're onto something man. if one person in this whole room yeah. said, I don't like contest. Yeah, yeah again, I like yeah. that hopefully it yeah, discourages you from playing 15 hours a day because you shouldn't have to. Now, it did still kind of, well, we only had six hours, but if you could get to like 720 or something, it still yeah. benefited you by the end of you know the last encounter. But there's something there. And I, I also just think Teddy... Uh, hit on the right point, which is probably a little different for a major release like mm -hmm. the beginning of the year three with Shadowkeep versus like a seasonal yeah. drop. And like probably three days for those could work a little faster, less story, and then mm -hmm. more time to enjoy a new I, release. I think three days is perfect for this last sample, uh, Crown of Sorrow. Yeah. That would I think have been that's just a perfect right. window, and you would have been able to enjoy it over the weekend. Yep. Everyone's still going to get. Because that would have been Friday, right? Tuesday, Wednesday. No, yeah. Tuesday counts as a day. Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, would have launched Launches Friday morning. Friday. Like we've seen, yeah. Bungie still gets their world first, you know? Yeah. It's, I think that's a good compromise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we actually, we're really close to time, mm -hmm. and I do want to open up the floor to questions. Oh, yeah. So if anybody happens to have any questions, I think you just line up at that mic back there. And if not, then we'll just call it. <laughs> nope, people are lining people up. Moving. All right, yeah. take it away. All right. Uh, hi, I am. Uh, 30, 30 seconds of question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, I know. How much time like do we have? We five need to confirm. Minutes, so sure. Go. Oh, I'll be real quick. Uh, so I'm uh, Roadhouse. Um, I've been playing Destiny from the very beginning, uh, D1. Um, also, first, I just also want to just thank you guys for doing the show. Uh, basically, no with problem. the Bungie games, I usually play the campaign and then bail out. And the same was true for Destiny. And after completing the campaign, I, I didn't touch it for months. And then you guys have like Broman on the show. I didn't even know what Twitch was. And you, you guys re-engaged me. And <laughs> like since then, I've spent thousands of hours playing Destiny, made so many friends. I literally wouldn't yeah. be in this room right now if it weren't for Fireteam Chat. So oh, guys, wow. oh, thank, thank, you. thank you so yeah. much yeah. for thank you to all the Guardians and Absolutely. friends. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and like we wouldn't so, be here without Broman and Gatalian. And uh, like yeah, I know it's it's so just a circle, like right? Show, um, so. so my my question is: between now and Shadowkeep, what are you still grinding for? Well, this week it was 750 Light. Now it's God Rolls from Menagerie. You know, yeah. Uh, gear sets that I want. There's a bunch of Triumphs that I still have to get. That's just me. That's yeah. The, the new weapons. Like I haven't gotten Windigo yet. Yeah. Well, you guys. Yep, when to go? I'd like to get Mountaintop still. I'd like to get Anarchy because yes, it's the new trend. And I <laughs> yeah. still need a better Al Stringer. I have a pretty good oh, one, but yeah. it's not perfect. Beloved Al Stringer, beloved yeah. as well. And, and there's so much, there's so much stuff to do in Destiny right now. Like it's the first time where we have tons to do, and so yeah, it's overwhelming actually with the amount. <laughs> it's of a stuff good that, problem to have. It is. Yeah, it's a good problem. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank awesome. you so much. Let's try and get like. We have like two, two more, more questions. questions. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys. So this has to do with more new content. Yeah. Based on what we got to see yesterday. Uh, there's two weapons that I want to ask you guys what your opinion on is, whether it's going to be the raid weapon or not. The new machine gun and the trace rifle that puts the crit spot on. Which one do you guys think is going to be the... Oh, yeah. The trace rifle. That's right. They talked yeah. about it. Yeah. I want to know what that bug does. You think that's going to be... Too. Wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what that bug does, and I love machine guns. Machine guns are yeah. probably my yeah. favorite weapon to use in the game. I usually have one on my character. I, uh, what's... I'm blanking what's question, on the name right which now. Which you think is going to be in the raid? Hammerhead. Okay. Yeah, I actually Hammerhead. think the machine gun has a good chance, but 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 then again, I feel like they wouldn't reveal something that's coming out of there. So yeah. what about you guys? Oh, which, neither. Yeah. Oh, which gun is the raid gun? Yeah. I, don't I don't think, think either I don't one. Think either. But I was saying the trace rifle. I think they nerfed Whisper because of that trace rifle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I think it'll be the trace. Yeah. yeah. But I love the machine gun. I wonder what that bug does. Couple more. Last one? It's really bugging you. Yeah. Wh <laughs> what are you guys' thoughts on all the constant nerfs that they're doing to some of these guns that we've all worked so hard for? You know, Whisper, Good question. Gears. Good question. Uh, how much uh, time whisper, do we have? Who Let's has see. used Whisper since Luna's the How? something? Yeah. What? A few people. Uh, we tried using it on the Scourge boss and found out you run out of ammo very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Scourge or Crown? Scourge. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so She's Darcy. initially I was really mad to answer your question about 
the fact that they nerfed everything. You were you were mad. I was that, that they, pretty mad. That they it it I felt mad. like a punch in the gut. Like we had got all these coveted pieces of gear, and I yeah. finally just finished my collection. They're like, yeah, guess what? It's all gone. Yeah. I'm like, why did I, I get the catalyst? Why did I ever get this gun? It's on. It's not going to be usable for most activities because spike grenades exist now. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so Wait, no, they're not good. Don't tell Bungie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Spike <laughs> yeah. grenades are fine. Shh, I, fine. Yeah. I just I I hate that hammering stuff in the ground. How do you guys I, feel about it? I'll just say real fast, I was bummed, but I have to say I was really happy and relieved that I was not using it in the raid. It just, like, I yeah. did that way too much, and to mm -hmm. be in there trying to figure out a different weapon than Whisper felt great, to be quite honest. And, and even in Menagerie, like, I'm not, I don't want to have to use Whisper. So I like where it's at with that. I don't like that it's irrelevant now, though. So yeah. to fit, bring it somewhere. Uh, Outbreak is perfectly tuned, but they really need to work on those misfits, man. They're too OP. <laughs> Justin, if you put that on one more time, I might defriend you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I put so, it on as a joke. So hates sitting, on, joke. sitting on my white picket fence, Destin, I, I see both oh, sides. I, you're you're <laughs> yeah, also yeah, conveniently yeah. in the middle, Steven, you have a national <laughs> answer? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that, um, yeah, I've accepted the fact that they, this is going to be a cycle of destiny. I really do like a lot of the weapons that are out right now in uh, Menagerie. And so, yeah, knowing full well that it's going to be a bunch of new weapons coming out in uh, Shadowkeep, I'm fine with it. Whisper yeah. was good for the time being, but, It'll yeah. come back, I'm sure. It'll come back, yeah. Steven? Uh, I think they over nerfed it a tad bit but uh bungie does this uh sometimes like when like they nerfed nova warp to the ground but mm -hmm. they brought, brought it, back. it back they brought it back yeah. so it, it, i don't think whisper's dead yet yeah yeah, yeah. i agree still strong rip titans yeah. <laughs> uh right. i think I'm, I'm okay with all of them except for skull of Daramkara. that one is uh oh really that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah um as a warlock main as well <laughs> reckoning yeah. is basically not doable so yeah if yeah. you're listening as a warlock Mars, yeah chatty yeah um, anyway, tether all day. Real quick, yeah. Um, I know we're out of time. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has walked up to us, introduced ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, if you see us again after this, please don't feel nervous to come up to us. We, yeah. we want to talk to you. We want to take pictures with you. We're dying for attention. Dying. Please. We're dying <laughs> for attention. <laughs> I'm Especially telling you. Especially Fran. But, uh, yeah. It was expensive Absolutely. to come. The more that you can stroke our egos. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, yeah. Elaborating right. on that, we'll be around after the show. We yeah. have to yeah. let the, the next panel come in, of course. Thank you. Though, thank you we'll so be, much. We'll be for, in there. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you everybody. Yeah. What, one. I've, I've got Thank one, more, yeah. one more I shout out. I want to do Guardians out with everybody. One, one more shout oh, out. Yeah, oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, shout yeah. out to Brian, C-Team. Uh, and Mal Woods, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. He's been doing he's, great. He's my homie. And Rip Sean, Sean, Sean Finnegan. And Sean Finnegan. Sean. He's over at 100 we'll Thieves now. Yep. Awesome. Say hi to him. But yep. we do Guardians out at the end of every show. Wait a second. I want second. to do it with everybody on I've noticed show. this, by the way. So many people probably know that this was something I came up with, right? But I'm not on the show anymore. And I've noticed you're using it a lot. Yeah. And it's in photos, but uh, like power per hour. Well, you know, Fran. So I was just going to ask you if you could refrain. If, uh, if you go over the contract, <laughs> any intellectual property created well at IGN oh, yeah. does oh, raise the property exactly. of IGN. Oh, man. Darn He's it. got me on that. Uh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding, obviously. I miss, in <laughs> fact, it's honestly, I've been seeing a lot of the photos and thinking, like, I love DCP, by the way. Thanks to anyone who supports Destiny Community Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Thank DCP you. DCP guys are great. And the whole community. Yes, and yeah, thank you for, yeah. and as well, I'm not sure if anybody you know out there, but I'm a dad. Um, you know, they, oh and so God. raise your hands. You got kids out there, families. Yeah. But, uh, there you go. All right. So you know, just had to throw that one out there because they've been uh, they've been ringing on me here a little bit here tonight. Yeah. CJ, your dad? I, I don't know yeah. if you know that. <laughs> I didn't know. With, 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 kids. Wow. with kids. We really got to go, guys. So right, go. just on three, we're all gonna do Guardians out. If you want to do it, What's you guys can join along. Which we? <laughs> so. What? You should where's tell the, them exactly the how it goes. So all right. I go one, two, three, and we all say <laughs> Guardians out and point. You're not gonna say until next time. By the way, <laughs> this, this is, is so the bit. Good. This is the bit. This it's is so, so good. good. Fran. All right. It's been great so having one, you back, So one, two, three, dude. until next time. Guardians, Guardians out. out. Oh, wait. I thought. <laughs> <laughs>